Hey everybody, Lysis here, and welcome to the build tutorial series. Today we'll be going over RCAs and how to build them. This episode will cover a specific design, but I'll do my best to explain it as we go along. And I built this all on Twitch, so make sure to come by and watch me there if you want a sneak peek on things I have in the future. So let's get started. So like any adder, we have two half adders, a sum line and a carry line. So we'll start with the first half adder. So this half adder, we just need an XOR gate and an AND gate, like any uh, first half adders in most adders. So actually, let's start with this, just the XOR. So I'm using this design of the XOR because it's very common to use in RCAs. And then the AND gate we're going to pull up here and then put a torch right there. So the way this XOR works, like you can use any XOR, but I'll explain how this one works is that we have two torches here that are being powered by the lever. And these two torches power this dust, which power unpowers this torch, making this an AND gate. So if we input both, we get an AND output from here. But then the AND powers these two dusts. And those dusts are powering these torches, which are the output. So by default, the torches are off because the dust are powered. And then when you power one, it turns it off, allowing this torch to turn on. And then when we power both, the AND cancels both of these. Now, since we have an AND here, we can actually uh, put dust over here and get an AND gate right here, an AND output right there for the carry outs. So that is the first tap adder. So next we're going to do the sum line. The sum line is pretty simple. We just need to get an output from here. And I'm going to actually replace that original output with a white concrete for the sum. And then we're going to just bring it out like this in a, a, a zigzag kind of shape. And this is because we're going to put another XOR and another AND gate right here for the second half adder. And we want to make it symmetrical. Now, of course, you can offset it, but offsetting it will make you have to adjust the carry in order to adjust for the offset. And it's better to just have it lined up like this. Now, of course, like I said earlier, like you can use any design really, and you can use any XOR. So you can just make it work however you want. Next, we're going to be doing the second half adder, and that's going to be fairly simple. It's going to look pretty much just like the first half adder, except with one small change. So we'll just build it up like that. And then get the torches in. The dust. So it looks pretty much the same, but what where the change is, is in the AND gate. So for the carry. So we're going to put the AND gate over here backwards so that we can line it up with this AND gate and then we can connect them into an OR gate and then get the carry output. Now we're going to do the carry line and all we really need to do for that is OR the two AND gates from the first and second half adder together like this. And for this design we're actually going to do it this way. Yeah, this way. And then just bring the line down here. And this is going to be the input over here. And since we also need to carry in, I might as well just do it right here. And I'm just going to make it look just like this. That way, when we stack a world at it, we don't need to worry about like rebuilding anything or adjusting anything. So we do this. And we also need a block right there in order to cut this line off from that. And that should be it for the carry. Finally, we're going to stack the adder cell and we're going to make it into a 4-bit adder. So let's actually start by setting a position over here and a position over here. And this should stack uh, four blocks, so like four block wide. So let's stack it three times to the right. And there we go. Yeah, it works. Awesome. So we have a 4-bit adder now, and I'm going to extend this output over this way, like this. And let's get a redstone line going there too. And for outputs, I'm going to be using iron trap doors. So I used this uh, texture pack by a redstoner named Red Command, and he made a texture pack that turns uh, iron trap doors into lamps and this is because our uh, regular redstone lamps take a tick to turn off but iron trap doors are instant both on the rising and the falling edge so it turns on and off instantly 
versus the lamps, like I said before, which turn on instantly, but they don't turn off instantly because it keeps a tick. So this way we're able to check if things are synced or not. Now we're going to do a quick demonstration of the RCAs to show that it actually works. So we're going to be doing 5 plus 3. So we have a 3 on the A input and a 5 on the B input. A would be the right side and B would be the left side. So if we look over here, we have an 8 output. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And one thing I want to do right now is actually show why this is called a ripple carry adder. So this is called a ripple carry adder since if we extend the carry over here and then get a lever to power that. Oh, no, not concrete uh, lever. So let's look at this. If we look at this line and I power this, you can see that it turns off one by one and then this turns on last. So it ripples over. So it's called a ripple carry adder because of how the carry logic works. So if you can see here, the carry logic is all individually separated by each bit. And what happens is when we have two inputs on the same bit, so a one plus one right here, it turns on the carry and it moves over. But if we have just a one in, it powers the second half adder and the carry is also powering the second half adder, allowing this carry to turn on, but the first one doesn't. So this first carry right here in the first half adder is called the generate because the, the carry is generated here since we have one plus one and it creates a carry. Now here we also have a one plus one, but the one we get is from the carry from the previous bit. So when we do one plus one here, one of them is the carry and the one of them is the sum. So it propagates the carry that's generated before. Now, since the propagate happens like further on in timing than the first half adder that was phrased really weirdly what i mean to say is since the second half adder takes longer to compute than the first half adder the carry takes longer to compute allowing this or making this a uh, ripple actually so hence we get the ripple carry adder anyway that's it for my rca tutorial uh, i hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content in the future and comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like to see me build. So maybe like a CPU, maybe memory, or maybe showcase some of the other things that you might see around my plot. Anyway, I also stream on Twitch where I build a lot of redstone stuff. So maybe come by there and you might see a sneak peek of my future content. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day.